Somebody has a lot of energy this morning. Yes, 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 yes. It's amazing. We had the cheapest lunch till day. We had ordered two parathas and tea curry, which they also call it as chapati. It was very simple and very healthy, I believe. Because Homely their food. family, who owns the restaurant, they are also having the same for their lunch. They were sitting at the table right next to us. Yes, and uh, we paid thirty rupees per plate. So both of us we ended up paying sixty rupees. So it was a nice, delicious meal. After that lunch, uh, we just sat there and waited for the bus to come. It took one and a half hours for that bus to get there. We only left uh, Ariel Bay at 3:30. We had a little bet going as to when the bus would reach. Our bet was either before 3:30 or after 3:30. Looks like the bus won by coming at 3:30. Otherwise, it had taken pretty much a very long time to show up. We paid 20 bucks. We got to uh, uh, Diglipur town, which is basically called as Dolphin Chowk, where we are staying. And now we've just come out to the market area to show you what that's like before we head out for dinner. Yes, we just bought our tickets to go back from Diglipur to Port Blair. We couldn't get it for the day after, so we ended up booking a day earlier. We actually wanted to spend one more day here, but unfortunately, because there were no tickets, we are going back to Port Blair tomorrow morning. And tickets uh, here, you, it's not just the government bus services that you yeah. can buy tickets for. There are also private there are ones. Four. Yeah, there are yeah. four private ones which sell tickets. It's just hundred rupees more than the government government bus ticket. But we heard that the seats are better because they have pushback seats. So we're going to check that out tomorrow and let you know if it's worth. So we asked for a seat up front somewhere. So that we got uh, the second seat. So yeah. hopefully our uh, ride will be much more comfortable than yeah. the one we came in. And at this shop that we are standing in front of, this is where you come and buy uh, uh, internet. <laughs> this is where you come and buy internet packs. So basically, there's a BSNL public Wi-Fi system running here in the market area. So because most people here have BSNL networks only, people like us who have Airtel are struggling because there's no internet. Yeah. There's also no telephone connectivity. Sometimes like her SIM hasn't. I couldn't call anybody yeah. from yesterday. But mine surprisingly worked, although I didn't get any uh, internet on it. So we came here, paid like twenty bucks, got three uh, GB of data for uh, two days. Yeah. So we're gonna, uh, we are. I'm basically using that. She's just. But it's not working for me. She's just really sad about it. So this shop is where we came. We recharged it. This shop also sells snacks and allows for bus ticketing as well. This area is very um, like more people speak Tamil here than uh, Bengali, from what we were able to observe. But uh, regardless, everybody speaks Hindi, so you should be perfectly yeah. fine navigating everything. Coming from Port Blair to Diglipur, we observed that the market, the fruit and the vegetable market in Diglipur is huge. There were so many stalls selling fruits and vegetables. It ran, I think, almost for like 300, 400 meters. Yeah, but uh, that that reflects in the pricing of most yeah. items here. Like so far, the the places we, eat, we have been eating at very really reasonable. Yeah, it's a lot better than uh, down south in Havelock, Neil, or even Portland. Yes. I guess it's the fact that people don't come here for tourism. Yeah. And it's also closely uh, accessible from, let's say, farmers markets and yeah. uh, farming lands. But it's a very busy town. It's surprisingly busy. Like we didn't expect that it to be so developed, yeah. but it clearly is the case. This is pakori chai, as they call it. It's a bunch of veg pakoras with some peas curry, which is called as chatpati. And it's similar to what we had for lunch, but uh, on top of that, there's a lot of garnishing of onion, uh, cucumber, and I think there's raw mango. So I'm definitely not going to enjoy that 
as much as somebody else here behind the camera. Yes. And then we have the sweet. Uh, that's again ka kalakand or koya. Let's try it. Look at him enjoying his fried food snack. <laughs> so the papada is not very crispy. I think it's like a general style in which they prefer, but uh, it's definitely hot. Then there's a sauce on top. They call it the kata meter sauce. It's um, spicy, it's tangy, and it's very sweet. And it's all coming together really nicely. just come here for dinner and we found this uh, place called Basus. Uh, it was recommended to us by uh, a tailor uh, where we bought the bus tickets. We asked him which is the local restaurant you like going to and then he showed us this place. So we've come here for dinner. So we're going to taste it and tell you if it's uh, what the locals had. I heard that they pay only for the rotis and then they give the sub meals. We have got uh, two rotis each and they've given us uh, beans curry and aloo curry and he just served us uh, his homemade chicken. The rotis are so soft, it is it was it all fluffy, yeah, it looked like a ball. And beans pie is Mami's favorite. That was a fulfilling meal. <laughs> and now we're just gonna head back to the room and call it a night. So we need to get up early morning tomorrow again to catch the bus back to Port Blair. Good morning. Hello. We're going to the bus starting point, bus stop. Catch the bus, Port Blair. It's 5 o'clock now, and our bus is supposed to depart at 5 30. We're still sleepy. Okay, so uh, we are staying in this very simple hotel. Uh, we have a quick room tour also inserted in this uh, vlog somewhere, so check that out. But that wasn't required, she will delete this. Uh 